think you are? Who do you think you are? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> we Lamont, I'm about to be three and oh. You think you can just walk up in my house and just talk to me like that when I'm literally about to be, wait, four and oh. I'm about to be four and oh. You think you can just come to my house and just talk to me however you want when I'm about to be literally four and oh in We Lamont? You guys notice how he walked in on me? No, that's not what happened. <laughs> Like, what the no, fuck? it isn't. You're imagining that. Play it back. Who do you think you are? No, I did. Who do you think you are, Glogert? Glogert. Squap down. Ooh. Hit it, Appa. Yeah! 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 Hi, baby boy. Do you have any words of encouragement for Wheel of Mutt? Hi, gay boy. This is Appa. He's homosexual. Ooh. This is Matt. He's homosexual. Do you have any words of encouragement for yourself? Dude, you have no sauce right now. <gasps> Give me sauce. Ooh! No! Fucking hit a dance, Fortnite dance now, Fortnite, 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 Fortnite now! Ah! Fortnite now! Hey! Ah! Yeah! Ah! My favorite Fortnite emote, you guys wanna see it? Ready? Ah! Officially no not November. Quick question. Do any of you actually like participate or is this just like a running joke? Ha ha ha, but I would never actually do it because this tiny piece of me wants to try it But also like I obviously don't want to try that We must stay focused gentlemen and an easy way to stay focused is binge watching wheel of mud Let's talk about the team. We have a gritty lunch pail. Please date my daughter backfield Josh Allen Christian McCaffrey Derek Parrish and we've got a swaggy super athletic explosive wide receiver core with Jamar Chase, Andre Yoshivis, Tyree Kill, and Megatron. We've got our prestige tight end Gronk. Evan Neal is the sole player on our offensive line. The rest is dog shit. So let's, uh, yeah, let's do something about that, please. Defensively, we've got one of the best users in the game and Anthony Walker Jr. with Lurk Artist. Got Drew Sanders at left outside linebacker and a budget beast Quay Walker at right outside linebacker. Safeties are Jesse Bates and our prestige Derwin James. Corn is Antonio Cromartie, Joey Porter Jr., James Pierre. And the defensive line's got the anchor, 90 overall Jonathan Allen, 88 Bruce Smith, and Nick Bosa, our sole prestige with no upgrades yet. Dude, this whole D-line's going through it. Nick Bosa just can't get a new upgrade. Jonathan Allen just had everybody on his team traded away. No Montez Sweat, no Chase Young. Traded away for peanuts too, so feeling kind of down bad for my D-line right now, but hopefully we can make it through this. I don't know what it's gonna take for Nick Bosa to get an upgrade. Maybe a Thanksgiving card. This kind of reminds me of a DK Metcalf prestige I did a few years ago. It felt like I was never going to get a DK card. I was never going to get a DK card. And then boom, I started to get some monster cards. So I'm hoping that Nick Bosa is that. Uh, I mean, he's still okay. He's still an A6 overall, but I don't know. In today's Wheel of Mutt, we'll be looking to pick up our fourth win. We're two wins away from going to the playoffs. And since we have zero losses, I could spare three losses. No, two technically. We have to win two games before we lose three to make it to the playoffs. Our very first wheel spin, bro. I should honestly just force myself to take O-line here. Even if, like, I really don't want to. It's, uh, it's not even possible to take O-line now. I don't think any O-line make it team of the week. I know that there is a 90 Will Levis and a 90 limited CD Lamb. That CD Lamb is crazy. I know the Bears season has been kind of pitiful, but there is one bright spot, and it's this dude right here. Jalen Johnson has been nasty. This corner is incredible. Six foot, 193, insane stats. 91 zone, 88 man, 90 press, 91 speed, 88 excel. Right now, I have James Pierre at CB3. I would move Jalen Johnson to my CB1, Cromartie to two, and Joey Porter to three, and I'd pretty much clear up the skies. Yeah, I mean, the CD Lamb is a really cool card. We're doing just fine with the wide receivers we have. I definitely could take a linebacker too, but it's Baron Browning. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't give a shit about Baron Browning. This was a toss-up, though. I don't know if this was the right call. This Jalen Johnson's incredible, but just so you guys can see what I was deciding between, it was this Baron Browning that I almost considered super fast six foot three outside linebacker really good block shedding and power moves so he's kind of like a guy that gets to the quarterback he could he really could have been this could have been the pick i'm sticking to my guns i'm going jalen johnson so jalen johnson will move to cb1 and we'll move joey porter down to cb3 giving us some serious depth 
at corner. Whether we're running nickel or it doesn't, it really doesn't matter what we're going to be running. We're going to have a lot of really good players out there. Also going to give Jalen Johnson an ability instead of Joey Porter. Um, wow, he gets really nice abilities. I'm going to give him pick artist. Team of the week jackpot. That's an insanely good starting spin, but there's no offensive lineman in team of the week, which is a bummer. So the second one, please, please, please. Okay. Hell yeah. This is a fun one. I love this one. I can open every single pack that costs coins and I can take one player out of the entire array. All we're looking for is a halfway decent offensive lineman. Maybe. We'll start out here with the Pro Max Fantasy Pack. It's going to give me Carl Lawson, Jordan Brooks. Carl Lawson, currently the winner, but I don't imagine that'll stay. Going to go with the Playmaker Pack next. Hey, that's actually, you know what's funny? That's exactly what I'm looking for. He probably won't be the best, but 82 left tackle Rashawn Slater could actually be a really good addition here. Hopefully the promos feared pack this probably has the best chance to give us something legitimately good like 87 landon dickerson i know that that's an available card right now give michael carter corner we get one more most feared player oh he's the winner right now actually this is a nasty budget linebacker i'd have quay walker and sion takitaki i don't know if that's how you say his name 84 speed 88 excel he's not an edge rusher but that's fine he's more of a true linebacker good block shed tackling play rack acceleration speed he's just a really good budget linebacker so he's the winner right now i actually would take him over rashawn slater just because because my other outside linebacker is Drew Sanders. Dude, I love how I started this episode saying I'm gonna go O-line and now I'm not. I, there's no fucking way I take O-line. I already have a right tackle. I could put him at left tackle, but at that point I used Slater, Will Lutz, Cater Kohu. Those are all no's. We do have a week eight team of the week pack. So if this wants to hand me 90 overall team of the week CD Lamb, I wouldn't say no to Irod. Ooh. Dude, that's actually such a nasty pull, but I can't use it. An AKA pack, I guess you could get Charles Cross. That Odell is actually a really nice pull budget wide receiver we just don't need a budget wide receiver Hassan Ridgeway and then the 83 OBJ final pack is right here the legends pack right now I'm really on Sion Taki Taki Brian Palomalu and an ultimate kickoff Laporta it's gonna be Taki Taki all right so Sione Taki Taki moving to my left outside linebacker and then my MLB2 will be Drew Sanders definitely was hoping to get something better there some higher overalls in fact my entire linebacker core is composed of most feared players which is pretty awesome because the most feared players are nice and then drew sanders at mlb2 it's not flashy but it's a very solid upgrade takes us to the third and final wheel spin if i get a choice it's gonna be a left tackle i promise you it's gonna be a left tackle 10 times re-rolls i get to keep one player bro in years past this was one of my favorite wheel spins i used to go on streams and just rip these training packs and they were a decent roi like you'd get your training back pretty usually and every once in a while you get a limited the last time i did these 83 pluses they milked me they sucked me dry bro they are horrible i have never pulled anything higher than an 83 in this pack straight up kareem jackson quick sells for 430 training this pack is 1720 i don't know if you guys ever played runescape back in the day but this is what we call a coin sink this is a fucking money pit they are taking my training and shredding it to ashes so that the economy stays healthy that's exactly what this bag is don't fucking open this thing it's so shit hey i do get pipkins again though so pipkins is my pipkins is my choice right now i did pull that budget beast duvernay but uh i wouldn't go with him pipkins would go at left tackle and and that's what we'd run if we have to i'm telling you bro this is gonna be all 83 pluses it's criminally bad i'm losing 14 1,800 trading every single time I open one of these. 83 plus, 83 Kareem Jackson. That's crazy. Consider this just a public service announcement so that you guys don't get duped into thinking you should open this. All right, we got three more. This is one. Duvernay once again. This is two. Trey Pipkins again. And our third and final, literally all 83s. Quay Walker. All right, I guess we're going to take the Trey Pipkins. We're going to move him to left tackle. Trey Pipkins is an 81 at left tackle, so it's not like he's it's not like he's trash or anything. All right, y'all, we're at 84 overall. We added Trey Pipkins left tackle. We added Taki Taki. And the big addition today is 90 overall Jalen Johnson. So we've added a brown, a bear, and a charger. I will absolutely take a rip on the challenge wheel here because if one of those packs can have a center or a guard for me replicate a week one score this one's always hard so the score of my game needs to perfectly mirror a score of a week one nfl game obviously there's a lot of games to choose from like lions chiefs 21 20 that'd be a cool one i think what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna play and at halftime we're gonna evaluate these scores and see what's actually possible he's got anthony walker jameer gibbs adrian peterson bro jameer gibbs just got an angry runs my fantasy team is geeked about it but i'm not geeked about it in this game right here because he looks like he's gonna give me some trouble bro he has fucking adrian Peterson and Jameer Gibbs? Where is Lurk Artist? 
Or no, that's Quay Walker. It's Quay Walker. It wasn't Anthony Walker. It's Quay Walker. I'm bitching for no reason. Yo, I just got trauma. It was PTSD from season two. It's Anthony Walker Jr. Sorry, y'all. He throws a little check down going nowhere there. Throws another. That is a sketchy pass. You're not getting away with that twice. He doesn't have anything right now. Second and ten. Wait a minute. Is this a Lions theme team? He has to have at least some degree of Lions team Ken because Jared Goff, Adrian Peterson, Jameer Gibbs. Who are his wide receivers? Yeah, Megatron. I don't know who his wide receivers are. I think that's Hawkins. No, it's not. Anthony Walker! Okay, I still ruined that play, though. I, I did my job. I slowed him down. I contained. It's good defense. I should have cut there. Let's send a blitz. Does he go Jameer Gibbs here? Oh, he's got Gibbs over the middle. Fuck, I knew he was going Gibbs. I just didn't know that was the route. Barely made the tackle first and 10. Oh, he has Megatron. This is totally a Lions theme team. He is going to go with the handoff here. This looks absolutely bottled up. Another run out of the Lions. Walker's going to come down. And third and four. Couple out routes. Check down to Jameer Gibbs. I'm all over it. Fourth and four. Get that weak shit out of here. Dude, he's even got Matt Prater. This is totally a Lions theme team. That's awesome. Oh! <gasps> And he shakes it! Oh my god, you don't see that every day. Let's see if this is man coverage. I'll be able to drill this to Tyree Kill. Oh, jeez. Matthew Judon, untouched. He's still in Samuel Blitz. His responsibility on Samuel Blitz as the user is CMC. I think we go Gronk here. That wasn't a very smart throw, low key, but I guess we'll take a yard. I got Tyreek on this little dig. I got Chase going downfield. There's Jamar Chase. That's exactly what we wanted! And the last position, Jamar is gonna house this. Let's go. Jamar Chase splits the seam. Dude, Jamar has been so unbelievably good. What an awesome prestige. A defensive stop, seven to zero. That's how you start a wheel of mud. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking over here at the score table, seeing what's gonna be possible. Like, dude, to replicate a week one score, I might have to let him get a touchdown at the end. First and 10, I am all over it. Oh, good play. Joey Porter Jr. just saved a touchdown. Megatron was flying over the top of that. We're guessing pass to get a little better pass rush, hopefully. And he finds the tightest one. Nice catch, Parham. First and 10. This looks like a run. I'm bringing Derwin down. Yep, stretch run left. Wow, great time to bring Derwin down. I don't think it mattered. Yeah, the boys kind of bottled that up on their own. I don't know what he wants here. He's not going to get it. What's he want? He's got the dig. He throws the dig. If I can hit him hard enough, he won't have it. Fourth and one. That was a monster hit. Hunting? Oh my God, he's punting. No way, right? You're faking this. Guys, get away from the ball. Oh my God, are you guys out of your minds? All right, textbook football. He's going to punt it away. I respect it. I'm going to try and take a shot here. Oh, play it. Oh, Jamar Chase might have him. He does. What a shot. Four for four, 113 and a tutty for Josh Allen. Jamar Chase double covered. Triple covered, in fact. What does he say, man? He says he's always open. Or if we're going to hold a shutout, there's only one score we can go for, and that's Cowboys-Giants. But I don't think we hold a shutout here. Dude, I'm really liking this play. Play action slot cross. Because look at Jamar. Look how Jamar clears on that. I probably could have thrown that to Jamar, but I'm going to be honest. I got a little nervous, and I didn't think it was worth it. We just run this ball here, and if we don't get it, we run it again. Silver O-line. Silver O-line. You know, I keep talking about upgrading my old line, but like they, they honestly play good enough, you know? It's definitely the last thing I need to upgrade. See if I can get McCaffrey underneath here. Nope, that is manned up. I just got to get some yards scrambling if I can. Second and 12. I think this is Sam Will Blitz. It is Gronk, and I can't get it off. You know what the user's responsibility is? The user's responsibility is the halfback. He's not going to get to it because he's a fucking bum. Oh my god, I own you! I own you! Come on, baby! Samuel Blitz only works if you're committed to guarding that halfback. This guy is not committed. He thinks he is. Oh my god, you ever seen a play get blown up that fast? Let's get to the edge, see if we can get around the user. Uh, this doesn't look good. If I'm gonna pick this up, it's a seam beater with Gronk. Let's take the check down, see if we can make some magic happen. Oh my God. Oh my God. We almost could have. Fourth and three. I take this field goal. Because look, I'm going to, if, unless he calls a timeout right now, which he should do, he's going to let this clock go all the way down. That is totally fine by me. Get your kickoff, McPherson, and this will take it down to three seconds on the clock. And then he's got three timeouts and 20 some seconds to go get something out of this. So the 49ers beat the Steelers 30 to seven. So maybe if he gets one touchdown and I just hold him there, corner out, gotta be. Wow, I'm, oh, I'm on your shit right now. 
Block him! Block him, fraud! We're all over right now. That's the last thing he could do. Now he's in jeopardy. I'm getting lasered on. There's only really two reads on this. We're either throwing it to Gronk or we're throwing it to Jamar Chase. I want that user to commit to Gronk and then I can throw Jamar kind of under it, basically. Let's find out, baby. One, two, Jamar Chase. Consolator. Oh! Money ball right past the user. Don't for it. Bro, if that ball is on Jamar's chest, it's intercepted. But he put it where only Jamar could get it. He saw me. Honestly, that's not that bad. There's a lot of scores that are 16. Okay, okay, okay. Falcons Panthers was 24 to 10. Do you think I could encourage this guy to get 10 points somehow? Dude, like... If you want to run the play, run the play, but go guard the halfback. It's really, it is hard to get out to that though. Look, now watch this, watch this. So he's going to run the same thing, right? He thinks that Christian McCaffrey keeps doing that route and going to the outside. So now we're going to send Christian McCaffrey to the inside and he's going to over... <laughs> Actually, no, he played that well. Okay, so if I get 24 points and we can get him 10, I would do it. Is this Samuel Blitz? No. Damn, he clamped that shit. Yikes. Fourth and 17. This is actually a punt center. Luckily, he's not ready for the punt. We could we could punt out him here because he's not ready for the punt. Let's see how good this punt is. Oh my God, that has punt out potential. <sighs> Tough bounce. Oh, it was on an angle. There was a game, Titan Saints was 16-15 and I have 16. The thing is like, how do I get him to have 15 points? He would never do that. He would go for one and then go for two. Oh, that's play action. I honestly thought that was a full handoff. And look who's in there. Bruce Smith. Putting Jared Goff through hell right now. Ooh. Good handoff call. Blown up by Quay Walker. Fourth and two. We can get another turnover right here. And he's going to get another delay in game. He's thinking too hard. You're overthinking it, man. I wouldn't be too shocked if he quits if he doesn't get this. So let's uh, let's make sure he doesn't get it. Fuck. I, dude, I want that parum. That guy is on my checklist. He's on my wish list. The 90 overall most feared parum. I dare you throwing him again, though. Come on, dude. I got Lurk Artist, man. Come on, this isn't the end of season two. I got the abilities on there. First and 10, watch this Jamar Chase route. Oh my God, no! No! That's criminal, that shit. I have to go for the Cowboys score. Same exact thing. Oh shit, what happened? <gasps> Still almost caught. Okay, you know what's happening now? It's the same thing, except he's shading, he's shading outside because he knows I'm going to that same route. Yoshi! Don't forget about the goat. I don't know why I did that. Just being a dick. I was kind of hoping I could really clown him and then get the other guy too. But we'll, we'll milk a little clock with it. I kind of want to give Jamar Chase a hat trick. Hat trick, Jamar Chase. So I'm at 22. There was not a single team that was at 22. Oh, no, there was. Bills Jets, 22 to 16. Actually, no, that's more realistic. If I let him score and get the two-point conversion twice. Oh, but would he go for two? There's no guarantee that he goes for two. I got to get this. I got to go for this and get it. Josh Allen gets it, 24 to zero. Actually, what I could do is 49ers Steelers. Wait, 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 wait. I'm so glad we got that. 49ers Steelers, 30 to seven. We need to give him one touchdown. We need to get one more and score no points after and then give him a touchdown and a PAT. Dude. Oh, I'm home. Dude, but every part of my body wants to lurk that shit out of that angle route, that sorry ass angle route. Ooh. That was nice. First and goal. This will determine if we can challenge real or not, whether or not he goes for two. Oh, bad time to run. Technically a really good time to run, but you know what I mean. Everybody get up and away and just let Jared Goff throw this in. Anywhere, anywhere, Jared. Anywhere, Jared. I ran commit, Jared. Take your time, Jared. Take your time, Jared. Oh my. Oh, you did get it. Thank God. You ever seen a man try so desperately to let his opponent score? We have to stuff this. We have to stuff this. We have to stuff this. I figured it out. There was one game, Rams Seahawks, 30 to 13, where I could get 30, and if I'd stopped in there, I let him score again. I don't know how to finesse this. Packers Bears, 38 to 20. Jamar Chase, do your thing. Ooh, that might not be the best ball. Oh my fucking god. You're kidding me. This is a historic day for Jamar Chase. How many yards does he have? If I go for one here, I go 31 to eight. Packers Bears was 38-20. So what I would need is I need him to score another touchdown, but then I need to stuff it. Then he scores another touchdown and I stuff it again, assuming he goes for two both times. Oh, this is hard. I got to rough him the pass or two, so he gets either way. 
There's no way you're showboating. Come on. <laughs> okay, 1431. If he goes for two, I have to... Okay, so I just have to stuff this. Okay, I'm gonna go with something that can defend the pass and the run. I'm gonna go 4-3 over solid. Pinch the D-line. And I'm gonna go on Anthony Walker. Okay, handoff right side. Are you kidding me? Guys, we have fucking bottled everything the entire game. Now, all of a sudden, it's just a cakewalk for it. There's not a single score combination that's possible anymore. Because I couldn't stop him there. That's a sketchy ball. No way I can lose that, right? Dude, I'm so mad. There was 31-21. I mean, I guess with like a safety, something is possible. Oh, I could give up a safety intentionally and give him two points. I didn't think about that. I could give up two consecutive safeties and get him to 20. Oh, I have to stop him now. Now I really got to stop him. No, why didn't I think of that sooner? I have to stop him. I need the ball back. Angle route, throw it. You, you love the angle route. Look at this! Safety. No, but I need the touchdown first. 16 to 31. It's possible. Five wide. I have only one timeout left. I've been doing some clock shenanigans, losing clock here. That's a zone. Oh my God. Whoa, his computer Anthony Walker just lurks me. Definitely not if he catches that. Now it's impossible. Now it's truly impossible. There was still like the tiniest little glimmer of hope before, but now there's not. Fuck it. Let's just air it out. <laughs> Gronk's gonna clear. <laughs> and he made it. He made it a little too easy for me, but shit. Shit. I wanted to chew the whole clock. This is a fucking insane game for Jamar Chase. Hey, GG's my opponent. Shout out to my opponent for sticking it out and playing that game because that was like 28 to 0 at one point. Dude, I tried everything. Everything. Everything to match a game score and I just couldn't do it. I do want to see these players that so so Josh Allen 22 for 32 367 five touchdowns The two interceptions were just from being an idiot at the end He didn't even really deserve those so he could have had a much better game but still 367 and five nuts Oh my fucking god. I don't even want to talk about what that would be fantasy wise 11 receptions five touchdowns is 41 plus 19 is 60.3 That would be 60.3 fantasy points and I don't even know if he had a two-point conversion if he had two-point conversions then that would add into that 11 for 193 and five touchdowns for Jamar Chase. That is an absurd game. So Trey Pipkins, Taki Taki, and Jalen Johnson are locked into the lineup. Four and oh, is this a perfect season, I smell? It just might be another perfect season, boys. I need another ring after the sad season two loss. All right, guys. Hey, I love y'all. Thanks for watching as always. See you in the next Wheel of Month.